Catching time. So this is how justice is done in Fontaine. What a joke. <laughs> You've got your rules. Well, I've got mine too! I am sorry. If you have been wronged, we will find the truth. But the rules of the court must be upheld. Wow. Somehow this character will become my favorite. I really like this guy. Although, uh, next update we're gonna have to defend him. I think they say that this story is gonna take and it's not gonna be no breaks. So until form play two is gonna be story, story, story. So I guess next update we're gonna defend him and four point two is gonna be the climax. Apologies. This is also the first time I've encountered such a situation. However, according to the rules established at the conception of Fontaine's court system. The Oratrice's judgment is the final verdict of the court. All I do is follow court procedure. As for why the Oratrice arrived at the conclusion it did, you should probably ask someone more knowledgeable than me. Uh, wh why are you looking at me? I had nothing to do with it! I, I don't know what happened there either. Hey, stop staring at me! What does Lady Farina mean by that? She says she has no idea either? But that's impossible. Didn't she create the Oratrice herself? Yeah, so are the verdicts reliable or not? Can results like this really be called justice? <sighs> My dearest citizens, did you really think we'd allow an incorrect verdict to be handed out in this court? Did you really believe that the judgment could be mistaken or be the result of some sort of random mishap? Oof. This looks really bad. Like, how in the world did this happen? Don't tell me. You thought even I had been blindsided by the Oratrice's result. But the way she looked just now... It was pretty obvious she had no idea what was going on. However, given the state of things, I shall give you an explanation. Everything that just took place, including my supposed shock and bafflement, was a part of an elaborate performance, with every action meant to stir up drama and excitement. And, <laughs> of course, for every performance, there is a script. Everything has unfolded exactly as I expected from the very beginning. As the embodiment of the very concept of justice, the Oratrice shall never render an arbitrary judgment! If you thought Child had nothing to do with the serial disappearances case, it is only because you've been blinded by the superficial appearance of innocence. Everything he's done, not to mention the danger he poses, are beyond ordinary comprehension and completely unforgivable! All shall be revealed in time. You will come to understand my noble intentions 
as well as the absolute correctness of the Oratrice's verdict. <laughs> Now, having said that, although I hate to leave things hanging in suspense, it is now time for this performance to end. As the lead actress, I shall be the first to take my leave. Toodaloo! So she chose to make her escape after all, did she? Uh, so you're saying we shouldn't put much stock into what she just said? Hmm. <laughs> She probably just put on that performance to save face. As for the truth, it's unlikely that she actually has any idea. However, please be assured that I will continue to investigate this case in a personal capacity. Just as I promised, if the judgment has been incorrect, we will do our utmost to clear his name. All right. Even though we feel pretty badly for him, we'll take your word for it for now. After all, he's done plenty of bad stuff, so he should have known he'd go to prison someday, right? Oh, that looks really bad. Oh, Monsieur Nervalet! That power you showed when you took him down. Who? Are you really? Hmm? I'm the Chief Justice of Fontaine, of course. If officers of the law lack the strength and capability to enforce it, then it makes a mockery of justice. Hey, what are you doing? Quick, stop him! Traveler! Hey! Traveler! Stop resisting arrest! Cease, or we'll add another charge to the list! No, 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 wait! I, I just want to ask the Traveler something. I I'm not looking to run away. Please, please, just let me ask this one small thing. Go on. Thank you. Thank you. I was being led away when I finally realized something. Where did you first hear the name Vache? I erased all records of that name. So, unless... Are you still trying to prove your innocence? Give it up, you've already been convicted. Uh, really? Y y you did? You're sure? You met her? But how could that be? How did you manage to do it? The Fountain of Lucene? Then... Then she's been so close to me all along! And I just never... Please, please give me a chance to talk to her again. Just let the Traveler take me to the Fountain to see her one last time. This is the last request I'll ever make in my life. You can do whatever you want to me afterwards. I don't care. What? Give an inch and you want to take a mile? Do you think serial killers get to make requests like that? Hmm. Paimon agrees! Why should we give him what he wants when he's only done a ton of super terrible things? This request, is it worth as much to you as your life? Of course! Wait, no. It's worth even more than my life. Humans, will they betray the instinct to live just to satisfy spiritual needs? Very well. I will grant your request. Your Honor, I fear that... I will go with him. You do not need to worry about any escape. <sighs> in that case, I shall leave him in your most capable hands, Chief Justice. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Is this the place? You said she's here, but what do I need to do to see her? Yeah, and even Paimon could hear her after drinking that thing. Didn't you just drink a lot of it on the stage as well? Oh, in that case... Vache! Ah! Yes, that's...
That's it. So you heard it too. Vignere, it's me. It's me, Vache. Vache? Vache? I'm here. I'm here. Where are you, Vignere? I'm coming for you. I'm finally here for you. Hey, wait! Be careful! Hey, wait! Vignere, is that you? It's me, Vache. Did he fall over? Vache, why did you come? Didn't I say you don't need to look for me? You, you look a lot older than I remember. How long has it been? It's been more than 20 years. I've suffered for over 20 years since the day you left. All this time, only the thought of bringing you back has kept me alive. Nothing else mattered to me. Oh, I must be dreaming. Who would have thought I'd get the chance to tell you all of my feelings like this? Vignere, you are my everything. I really don't know how I could live without you. But Vache, if you ask me, this world would be better off without you. Oof. Uh, wh what are you saying? If not for you, I would have finished my law degree and probably become a top-tier attorney one day. Huh? If not for you, I would have continued to pursue my love of the arts, and my works would have been displayed in the Palais Mermonia itself. If not for you, I would at least have been able to take care of my mother. And she would not have grown old and died alone with nothing but the tears on her cheeks. It's all because of your selfishness, Vache. It's all because of you. Wow, she's saying that. You... Wait, you are not Vignere. Who are you? You're right. I am not Vignere. I am the sacrifices. Uh -oh. Every woman who died by your hand as our bodies dissolve, our consciousnesses flowed back to the primordial sea. Our thoughts circulated endlessly within the primordial sea, and we were no longer individuals. But we became one, just as streams of water come together in the sea. I'm Cressy. I'm Lemony. I'm Azine. The only one I am not is Vignere. Why? But then, where is Vignere? She doesn't want to see you anymore. Every tendril of her consciousness is avoiding you. This is what you get for your selfishness. Your selfishness robbed us of our lives and our futures. You said time and time again that you'd do any and everything for her. But did you ever consider whether she'd want to see you do the things that you did? If she would despise you for what you became? I, um, I... You are a liar, a heartless murderer, and a cowardly narcissist. The only thing you are not is Vignere's beloved. From the moment your first victim died and her consciousness merged with Vignere's, she has had nothing but pure hatred for you. Wow. So this was all master plan, or at least a hope from my uh, journey. No, v v yeah, she can't hate me. Let me see her, please. Have mercy. You still don't understand. When I said don't look for me, 
That came from the real Vinier. She really doesn't want to see you anymore. But on top of that, she also said that because it's her final drop of pity for you. She said that because she knew that if you did come here, we will show no mercy to you. What? Man, the standard. Vache. Vache. Drown. Uh oh. Wait, wait. I just was. Oh, come on. <laughs> 